lake. A lake is a large body of water surrounded by land. They love to skip rocks on the lake. Lake. <laughs> All the ducklings safely made it to the lake. Lake. Pinkerton was pulled all around the lake. Lake. Ah. Wiggle skated on the frozen lake. Lake. You can swim, fish, and boat on a lake. How fun! River. River. A river is a moving stream of water that flows into an ocean or lake. Big Blue had his clothes washed by an elephant in the river. Alphabot's Adventures! <laughs> Lots of animals live near the river, even snakes. River. I had lunch with a crocodile down by the river. River. Did you know that all rivers in the world eventually lead to the ocean? <laughs> Hill. Hill. A hill is a smooth, rounded area of land that is higher than the land around it. Rocky rolled down the hill and hit a tree. Hill. Grok had to carry his car up the hill. Hill. <laughs> Scampy had an accident skiing down the hill. Hill. There's no need to pedal if you're riding your bike down a hill. Mountain. Mountain. A mountain is an area of land that steeply rises to a point. Oh. 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 
Scampy could see mountains, clouds, and hot air balloons in the distance. Alphabot's Adventures! My way down the mountain, I bumped heads with a ram. Mountain. Huh? Huh? Ah! Sherbert returned from her long journey in the mountains. Mountain. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Sky. Sky. The sky is the space above you where you see clouds, airplanes, and the sun and moon. Pinkerton's kite flew up and away into the sky. Sky. The sky was filled with paper airplanes. Alphabot's Adventures! The moon and stars lit up the night sky. Sky, keep on going. The sky's the limit. Manners. When you have good manners, you are polite and respectful, especially around other people. Uh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Francis showed good manners by opening the door for his guest. Manners. The fox has impeccable taste and manners. Manners. <laughs> Grumpkin has no manners at all. Manners. 
Mind your manners. <laughs> generous. Generous. When you're generous, you freely give or share things with other people. Big Blue is generous and made sure Pinkerton could have another ride. Alphabot's Adventures! The mermaid generously gave us two beautiful pearls. Generous. <laughs> the girls were very generous with their kisses on Valentine's Day. Generous. Be thoughtful and generous, and good things will come to you. <laughs> clever. Clever. Someone who is clever is intelligent and comes up with creative solutions to problems. <laughs> That's a clever way to clean the floor, Pinkerton. Clever. Rocky had to be clever to get home on his broken bike. Clever. <laughs> Eli is a very clever dog. Clever. Wow, you are so clever. <laughs> Responsible. Responsible. When you're responsible, you have a job or duty that you're expected to do. <laughs> Big Blue is the babysitter, so he is responsible for all four baby monsters. Responsible. They were responsible for finishing their chores before they went out to play. Responsible. Pinkerton responsibly brushed his teeth before anyone even had to ask. Responsible. What chores are you responsible for at home? <laughs> Polite. 
polite. When you're polite, you show good manners and respect for others. If you say please and thank you, you're being polite. Uh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Francis is polite and opens the door for guests. Polite. <laughs> Big Blue waited for Sherbert to ask politely before he shared the cupcake. Polite. <laughs> it's polite to clean up after yourself. Polite. It's polite to be polite. Monkey. Monkey. A monkey is a hairy primate that usually has a long tail and lives in trees. That monkey isn't going to stop Little Blue. Alphabot's Adventures! <laughs> After a near fall, the monkey helped me scale the tall wall. Monkey. Scampy is as agile as a monkey. Monkey. There's no time to monkey around. On to the next lesson. <laughs> Forest. Forest. A forest is an area covered with thick trees and bushes and is usually home to wild animals like deer and bears. A scary bear jumped out of the forest. Forest. <laughs> Sam is much happier since he moved to the forest. Forest. <laughs> be careful, there can be lots of poison oak in the forest. Forest. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Jungle. Jungle. 
A jungle is a hot and wet forest that has lots of exotic animals and insects. A machete is handy when you're in the jungle. Alphabot's Adventures! There are many hungry insects in the tropical jungle. Jungle. Luckily, a monkey helped me climb the jungle ruins. Jungle. Sometimes the city is called the concrete jungle. Whee! Cave. Cave. A cave is a natural hole in the earth that is dark and cold. Ah. <laughs> As I started my journey, I fell into a cave. Alphabot's Adventures! Sam had an accident flying in the dark cave. Cave. I was rescued from the cave by Rod and Cone. Cave. This is how your voice sounds when you're in a cave. <laughs> bat. Bat. A bat is a small furry animal like a mouse, but with wings. A baseball bat is a different kind of bat, but is spelled the same way. Most bats live in dark caves. Alphabot's Adventures! Sherbert met the friendliest bat in the cave. Bat. Did you know that a bat is the only mammal that can fly? Clean. 
Something is clean when it is free of dirt, dust, and grime. You have to use soap if you want to get clean. Clean. Make sure your hands are clean before you sit down to eat. Alphabot's Adventures! Fresh and clean, fresh and clean. I am feeling so fresh and clean. Clean. After a good bath, you're as clean as a whistle. <laughs> dirty. Dirty. Something is dirty when it has dirt, grime, or stains on it. Dirty is the opposite of clean. <laughs> Somebody got Dapper Dandy's house all dirty. Alphabot's Adventures! I took a dirty spill down a muddy hill. Dirty. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to get dirty. Dirty. Hey, if your hands are dirty, go wash them now. <laughs> different. Different. Something is different when it's not the same as something else. <laughs> All the monsters were doing different exercises. Different. Little Blue couldn't decide between the different cupcakes. Different. <laughs> they have two very different ways of eating ice cream. Different. They were all doing different things up in the tree. Different. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> yeah!
Full. Full. Something is full when it contains as much as it can hold. Scampy's suitcase was completely full. Full. All the train cars are full. Full. Little Blue ate a whole watermelon and is completely full. Full. Full steam ahead. Empty. Empty. Something is empty when there's nothing inside it. Pinkerton ate the last cookie, and now the box is empty. Empty! The pool was full, but now it's empty. Empty! When you drink that much soda, you leave a lot of empty cans. Empty. Your stomach might growl when it's empty. Forth. When something moves back and forth, it moves from one place to another and back again. Their eyes moved back and forth. Back and forth. Pinkerton was pulled back and forth across the lake. Back and forth. <laughs> Grok shook the apple tree back and forth. Back and forth. When you're on a swing, you move back and forth. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. When you tell someone to cut it out, you want them to stop 
doing something that's bothering you. Pistachio was squishing her, and she wanted him to cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> they had better cut it out, or they'll be in trouble. Alphabot's Adventures! Hey, cut it out, or I'll zap you. Cut it out. Oh, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm just saying the title of this lesson. <laughs> give up. Give up. When you give up, you stop trying to do something because you think it's too difficult. They got frustrated and decided to give up playing the trombone. Give up. The cow was too stubborn, so they gave up trying to move her. Give up. Pinkerton refused to give up and finally tied his shoes correctly. Give up. Even if you're frustrated, don't give up too soon. <laughs> last straw. Last straw. The last straw means the last thing that happens before someone gets angry or something bad occurs. Pinkerton's entrance was the last straw before the phone booth collapsed. Last straw. Scampy's rail grind was the last straw before Dapper Dandy got really mad. Alphabot's Adventures! The straw that broke the camel's back means the same thing as last straw. <laughs> just in time. Just in time. Something that is just in time happens at the last possible moment before something else occurs. Ah! 
Big Blue arrived just in time to save Scampy. Just in time. <laughs> they got to the park just in time to see the cherry blossoms bloom. Alphabot's Adventures! The giant eagle swooped down just in time to save me. You're just in time. The coaster is about to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 